I don't think Lou Ferrigno could bench 60% of that. <laughs> 40 bucks says Mike can't do it. Yeah, I'll take some of that action. I've seen him pick up and shake a vending machine to dislodge a stuck bag of chips. <laughs> yeah, that's adrenaline. Like a mom lifting a car off her baby. <laughs> I'll take a lick of that lollipop. You'll take a lick off anything. <laughs> shut him up. I will shut you up. All right, we promise we're not going to make him shut up today. Born and raised right here in Buffalo, New York, Louis Mostello has been handing out laughs on the hit CBS sitcom Mike and Molly playing Vince. That's Molly's mother's love interest on the show. And we're thrilled to have him on the couch with us this morning. Welcome. Thank you. How's it going? Very good. <laughs> nice to be home. Nice to be back in Buffalo. So, of course, we have to start with Mike and Molly because we just saw a little bit of the show. So right. tell us what it's like to work on that show. Well, everybody on the show is happy to be there. And um, it's just we have a ball. We have a lot of fun. And it, it shows, I think. It shows when we're all out there that, you know, we're all having fun. Swoozy Kurtz, who plays my wife, I've always been a huge fan of because she's big in Broadway. So I'm thrilled to work with her. Billy Gardell and Melissa McCarthy are both wonderful people, and they're the anchor of the show. And... You know, they're just solid, good people. And so that makes everybody happy to be there. And we have a ball. We have a good time. And what's it like to have a sitcom be your day job? What is filming like? How much rehearsal do you do? What's the best and the worst part? Of we do it in four days. We sit down at a table reading. Uh, the next day, we're up on our feet with it. And then we rehearse it for three days. Wednesday, we do a final run through. The audience comes in at 6 o'clock and we do it in front of the audience. It's pretty fast paced and also they change stuff in front of the audience. So we'll do a scene and they'll come in with new dialogue. It's quick pace. So you got to go off to the side, learn it, come back on. Um, it's fast, it's furious, it's fun, and it's nerve wracking at the same time, but we love it. Now, you know, Mike and Molly follows a working class couple from Chicago. Right. Do you yeah. think, you know, having grown up in South Buffalo, that it's not hard to go from Buffalo working class families to Chicago and playing a working class, you know, neighborhood and people there? It's very easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, no, it's, it's, that's what I love about the show. That's what I love about this character. The character's like a West Side. Italian guy, you know, from he's a West Side. The accent is the same because a lot of people that worked on the Erie Canal went to Chicago to work on the river. So it's a very specific accent. And it's a similar accent in many ways. So a lot of people think I'm from Chicago. A lot of people from Buffalo, when they people say, Are you from Chicago? No, I'm from Buffalo, and it's the same sort of accent. So this guy, I kind of grew up with guys like this guy, uh, you know, I knew him working in Allentown. I used to bartend at the Brick Bar. And so I use a lot of Buffalo for this guy. It's so funny watching that clip, seeing you on the couch, yakking it up with the actors, yeah. and then we come out and you're doing the same thing here. It's so yeah. similar. You oh, must yeah. get that all the time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun character to play. It's not that far from me, but in a way, very far from me. If I, you know, like similar, but in many ways different. So it's fun to do, and it's it's a crazy character because he says this ins he says insane things, you know. So, but I love it, and we're having a good time. And I we're back next year, and we're going into syndication next year, and hopefully we'll do a couple more seasons. And, uh, you know, now looking at your resume, you've been a part of so many major shows. So what do yeah. you have in store? What are you working on right now? I just did an uh, independent film down in Louisiana, that you know. They, I don't think they have anybody that's distributing it yet, but it was a, it was a good cast and it was an interesting thing. And now it's a weird time because I can't really commit to a lot of things because we're back in July. Hopefully, you know, something will come up in terms of uh, television or a couple days on a movie. Uh, last year I did, um, I think, uh, last year or year before, I did a movie called Not Fade Away, which was David Chase's uh, movie from The Soprano. So, but it's great to be in Buffalo. I mean, I'm going to do my whole Buffalo routine. What now. is your routine? What's your Buffalo tour that you my, do my, in your I, home? I walk around Allentown because of the architecture is nice. amazing. Jim Byers would, would appreciate uh, yeah, that yeah. from the Toronto Star. I love Star. it. It's just amazing. And I get lost there. I go to my friend Eddie Brady's bar on Genesee Street downtown. Nice. I go to Abbott, Texas Red Hots for a hot dog. I go to a place called Doc Sullivan's for Smitty's Chicken Wings, the Buffalo, South Buffalo Chicken Wing that's a little different. And oh, I just can I say to my friend John Muti, who's getting married 
today. Congratulations. Johnny, <laughs> congratulations. I'll see you later. And his lovely bride-to-be, Colleen, I wish them the best. And then I just roam around, see my friends, and my mother makes spaghetti and meatballs, and uh, my wife's here, and we're going to have a ball. You should write this down and distribute to oh, people I that are coming it. to visit Buffalo. I love it. Yeah, I go to, and there's a wonderful place uh, in Lackawanna called Mulberry. And I love, yeah, it's a great, <laughs> but I know Joe and those guys are great. And then, oh, Daniel's in South Buffalo. South Buffalo is where I feel comfortable because it's where I grew up. And how do you think about all the growth and development that's been happening lately? You're not, you're not here an awful lot, so it must look really different every time you do come home. Oh, it's incredible. I take this, cr I take crazy walks. I'll walk from South Buffalo to downtown and going through the whole Swan Street area is just incredible. And what they did to the Lafayette Hotel, and I think it's, uh, the city's looking great. It's a beautiful city. People don't realize how pretty this city is. It's a gorgeous city and good people, and I'm very happy to be here. And if it wasn't a beautiful city, you wouldn't be coming back as much as you do <laughs> well, come we'll back. We'll accept the compliment. Well, I, I, I would. I would have to. I would have to because my mom's still here, but uh, I, I enjoy it. Yeah. Good Buffalo yeah. boy for sure. Thanks yeah. so much for coming in this morning. You it can was, come back anytime you want. I loved it. It was great to meet you. Is that your derby outfit? My derby outfit with my red fascinator. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It. Do you the approve? Hats on this morning. Right. What's, what's do that? you approve? I think you look fantastic. Uh, right. I think you look <laughs> Matt yeah. looks great too. <laughs> I look okay. It's all right. <laughs> I love your shoes. Thank you. <laughs> all right, we're going to take a break right now. Let's go over to Emily Lenahan. She's standing by with our hashtag.